What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Doing great. What's new since last time we talked? Uh, I don't know. You guys are wearing different clothes, so. <laughs> You've had a couple of bad practices now, so uh, how do you feel that you know, you've held up in those practices, and how do you think the, the offense is looking it's, it's good to, to see the guys come out and be physical. Um, I know Coach really preaches physicality, and offensive line is being physical up front. Uh, and it's fun to watch when you go back and you watch the tape. Of course, you watch yourself, you learn uh, what you can do better, what you can fix. But then you get to see guys go out and excel and play well. And I think that's really fun. And I think the guys are having fun. Um, it is training camp. You know, you put the pads on, there's going to be bumps and bruises. Um, but, you know, everyone's fighting through it. And it's good to see us come out here and continue to get better. You said that the, the install has been really heavy. And he's mm -hmm. dumping it out on you guys early. You know, right. Does it feel heavier than other installs you've been through? And kind of how do you process that as you go through as a quarterback? It, it doesn't. Um, you know, drawing on, on experience uh, from my career, uh, the past four years in the league, being in a couple different offenses, uh, it is a, a heavy install, but um, everything plays off of, uh, of other plays. So you can kind of, hey, if they do this, we're going to do this. If they do this, we're going to do that. And I think the guys realize that. But, you, but the advantage of putting it all in is that the rest of training camp, you can just keep working on the same things that you've, been, that you've already put in instead of uh, dragging it out. So, um, yeah, I mean, guys have been out there, and we've had to, you know, be like we're at the airport, directing traffic, getting guys to line up in the right spots. But uh, I think the hustle and the effort is all, always there. Who are some of the guys among your wide receivers who formed impressions in your mind as the uh, four days of camp have gone by? No, I, mean, I think all of them. They've all done a great job. There's no shortage of speed uh, for us at wide receiver, um, and there won't be. These guys are like a track team out here running up and down the field. Um, but, you know, we got to take care of them and make sure uh, that these guys stay healthy, and they're doing a good job taking care of their bodies and making sure they're available every single day. So uh, I think all of us have been really impressed with our receiving core and what they've been doing. Yeah, everybody's obviously curious about how the first-round pick Coleman is coming along, so how is he coming along? Yeah, I think Corey's doing well. Um, you know, his, feet, his speed flashes every day. Uh, you know, he's a dynamic player. That's why he was a first-round pick. Uh, and he went to Baylor. So, you know. <laughs> How valuable was he said he, uh, he came out and worked out with you yes. during the break. Mm -hmm. um, how valuable was that for, for you guys and your chemistry? And, and what, just what, do you, what did you learn anything about him and, and, and kind of what, what makes him who he is? Yeah, I mean, I, I know Corey, so it's uh, – I was leaving Baylor when he was a recruit coming in, and I went back to Baylor a bunch. Uh, so I know Corey really well. I know what he's about. I know what drives him. Uh, you know, the same with Josh. And it's been fun, the experience of getting to know the rest of the receivers in the same exact way, what drives them, what they do well, what motivates them. Uh, but Corey coming out and a couple other guys came out as well to, to work with me in the offseason. It, it builds trust. It builds camaraderie uh, to know when he's going to be coming out of his breaks. And, you know, he made the effort to come out to come work out, you know, when he could be off. He could be in the Bahamas or something, you know, sipping on pina coladas or whatever he wanted to do. And he came out to work. Uh, and I think that's important uh, for him, for us as a team. Um, but when you got examples like Joe Thomas and Joe Hayden out here, uh, it's easy to, to fall in line and make sure you're doing everything the right way. It's going to be like an all Baylor offense here. Um, for a good part of the season, couldn't it? I mean, would that be pretty cool for you? Um, you know, I think. We, we try not to look at it that way. Obviously, all me, myself, myself, Josh, Corey, and Drango all went to Baylor, um, and you know we enjoy the fact that we all get to, to play together again or, or play together for the first time. So uh, it is fun, but uh, it's not our main focus. We're Cleveland Browns now, and we're here to, to help resurrect this team uh, and make it a consistent winner. Every day, anything does it say to you that you're getting the first team reps? Uh, you know, you, every day you got to show up ready to go, um, show up and come out and prove it. So you just focus on what you can control. And coach tells me to go, I go. And uh, if he tells me he wants me to go play uh, on, the, on the concrete with the, the first offense, that's what we're going to go do. doesn't matter where we're at, we're ready to play. Every day we see Pryor motioning into the shotgun and you motioning out as a wideout. Are you looking forward to catching some passes this year? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rick, you talk about, uh, you know, when you look out there and you see well, Gary's a little bit limited right now, but when everybody's healthy, Gary, Josh Gordon, Terrell Pryor, Duke Johnson. Uh, can you just talk about Corey Holman? Um, what, you know, what do you feel about the potential of this offense? 
Yeah, I mean, potential uh, to be great. And I think every team, you know, all 32 teams right now look at their roster and say, man, we got them. And it's about the ones who, who grow together the best, come through training camp and, and get the, the best uh, out of their season and become gritty, win close games. You know, when it's, when it's winning time, we do the right things. And uh, it's real exciting to see our roster, to see the guys and, and know that we do have some guys that aren't completely healthy. And when they do get out here and start rolling, uh, it can be even more fun. But it, it's my job to get them the ball. And, you know, I promise you I'm going to do my best. Robert, when you talk about the offense growing together, um, how do you feel about where you are from a leadership standpoint with a new team? I know you've been through a lot in your career, but this is the first time you've changed teams. And, you know, you know some guys, but there's a lot of guys in the locker room who don't know you. Right. Uh, you know, I just, I've said this before. Um, when you come into a new locker room, a, a new team, a new organization, with a new coach, um, you know, everybody wants to see what you do and how you respond. Uh, and what I've tried to do is go in and, and work hard, show up every day, and prove it to them that they can trust me. Um, now, have I done that? You got to ask them. I can't. I can't tell you that. I know what they've told me. Um, but you just come in, put your best foot forward, show them that they can trust you. Work hard every day. And like I said, you know, a thousand times, when you got guys like Joe Thomas, Joe Hayden, Andrew Hawkins, guys that have been in the league for a long time, when they show up every day ready to work, uh, it's easy to fall in line and, and do that. What do you suppose it's like for? Um, quarterback from Ohio State who had uh, big success at a uh, very high level. You play in uh, wide receiver now. And, uh, you know, you, I'm sure you guys talked uh, some about your shared background as quarterbacks right. and what's going on right now is important teammates. Yeah, and you know, TP's transition from quarterback to wide receiver has been phenomenal. Um, it's really hard to do. Not many guys have ever done it. Uh, and as you guys have seen out here in practice, he, he's doing a great job. I mean, I talked to him and laughed with him about when he was at Ohio State in a bowl game back in the day. A couple of years ago, he caught a fade for a touchdown uh, over a safety. And I was watching, I remember watching it, and I was like, man, that guy could play receiver. Um, you know, obviously, you know, he, he played quarterback in the league, and now he's got an opportunity to, to do big things at wide receiver uh, if he keeps working. And I think we're all proud of him. It's, it's good to see him come out here and play the way he has. There's a live team scrimmage Friday night. What do you want to accomplish personally? Uh, you know, we just offensively, we want to move the ball, score points. End of the day, that's all we can do. That's all we can control on. It's not about me. It's not about any individual. It's about us as a unit. So uh, just get the unit movement, uh, moving and, and have positive plays. Did you do any full speed scrimmages like this in Washington? Um, I, not with the ones, I would say. Uh, but, you know, this is Coach Jackson's team. And uh, if he tells us we're hitting, siren goes off and we're hitting, we're hitting. If he wants me to hit somebody, I'll hit somebody too. Uh, so that's just the way it goes. And, and we all trust Coach that he's going to take care of us and do the right things. Josh McCown talked about uh, the fact that once a starting quarterback is named, every, there's no distractions. Everybody can get on board behind that one particular guy. Do you, are you eager for that moment when that's over and the starter has been named and it's everybody getting on the same track? No, it's, you, you just have to focus on what you can control. Um, there's no eagerness to it. You come out every day with the same mindset to get better. Um, you know, continue to prove yourself out here on the field every day. And that's all you can control. You can't control uh, when coach makes a decision, how he makes a decision. And uh, one thing we all know is we're all going to have each other's back. So no matter what happens, we're all going to be there for each other. We're all going to have each other's back. And we're all Cleveland Browns. So we're all here to do one job, and that's win. Robert, did you play last year? Uh, obviously, in Washington, you were playing on the scout team. But did that do anything in terms of seeing the field from a different perspective now as a quarterback in the passing game that maybe you take with you moving forward? I think all my experiences uh, from the past four years in the league have helped me get to this point uh, where I am in, in Cleveland and, and with the coaching staff and with the team and just how to manage everything uh, and control your process and, and focus on what you can't control. So I don't think there's any one thing uh, that's done that, but all those experiences have helped me. Robert, when you signed here, did you watch the Browns film from last year? Um, I did not. Uh, I did look at the roster and see who was here. And, um, you know, when management talked to me, it was more about having an opportunity to come somewhere and, and help a team be successful than it was about uh, who was on the roster. So when you look at, like, Isaiah Crowell and Duke Johnson, the mm -hmm. guys in your backfield, have they been pleasant surprises? 
Yeah, I want. I really wanted to come out and, and, and practice the guys, get to know them first before I ever judge them as football players. Because uh, what you see on tape from one year can be totally different from the next. Um, so when we came out in OTAs, it was awesome to, to see those guys run as hard as they were running. And, you know, when a new coach comes in, everybody's, you know, starting at ground zero. And everyone has to prove why they should be here and why they should be on this team. And I think all those guys have come in in great shape, uh, ready to go, and it's going to give us a competitive advantage. How's it going with Cam Irving? How are the exchanges going? And, and how is he taking over that role left behind by Alex Mack? Yeah, you know, his first year uh, playing full-time center. And Cam's done a great job. Um, you know, there's always going to be growing pains here and there, but uh, he's being physical. Uh, he's, he's making out his, he's calling out his points and, and making all his checks. Um, so, but just like Cam, like myself, like everybody on the roster, we all got to continue to get better. We got a long way to go before the season starts to get to where we want to be. Uh, but Cam has done a great job.